exercise too for your hamstrings. Uh, something you can do at home. It's a kneeling good morning. You guys will probably need a partner. I'll show you a variation of that in a second, having someone hold your legs down. But if you have access to like a Bulgarian pad that you can put your feet up under, or even some of your leg extension machines and exercise equipment will have a pad where you can basically feed your feet through. So it's gonna hold the lower leg stable and then your knees will be on some type of a pad or <clears throat> on a flat surface. You're gonna basically do a good morning, hinge the hips behind you, hands behind your head to make it harder, hands up in the air to make it even harder as a, as a couple progressions. But you can start off with your hands crossed and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna hinge your hips, keeping your femur as, as, as tall as possible. You don't wanna be, you don't wanna be hinged back too far. You wanna bend here, nice flat back. You can round a little bit at the bottom. And then when you come up, make sure that you extend the whole back, pull the hips through, and then repeat that movement right there. Fire the hamstrings and the glutes to get yourself up and arch your back at the top. And that'll finish that variation if you've got a way to anchor your feet to the floor. So the second variation here, this kneeling, uh, uh, kneeling good morning, is have a partner hold your feet down. Knees are gonna be placed on the floor. See Coach Josh, he's got his femur is very, very tall. He's minimal, minimal hinge where his butt's going back towards a partner. He's really, really trying to bring himself forward so that he can isolate that hamstring. And the hamstring in this setting is still in a closed chain, but it's working purely on torso extension. Um, and he's, he's gonna round that back so that he can, he can stretch everything throughout the spinal erector. Back strap, big arch at the top, and that'll be the kneeling variation.